essential oils. When choosing oils, think first about what you want the aromatics to do for you. All spice is today's aromatherapy essential oil. Many people think that allspice is a combination of several spices and, all su and are surprised to discover it's actually just one. That's because allspice has a flavor reminiscent of a blend of cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I like all of those <laughs> in my food and my dessert and also in my oils. Because of its unique flavor, allspice is a favorite of bakers. See, I didn't even know that and I mentioned <laughs> this is good. Favorite of bakers everywhere and is used in a variety of dishes. From breads, spice, from breads, pies, cakes, relishes, gravies, preserves, and even ketchup. Although allspice is highly esteemed for its place in the kitchen, it is also a widely used aromatic as well, with a variety of sensational benefits. Aroma therapeutic uses for allspice, chest infection, colds, cough, digestive acid, muscle pain, toothache. Essential oil applications for chest infection, cold or coughs, mix two to three drops per ounce of carrier oil and rub into chest and back. Because allspice can irritate skin if you because allspice can irritate skin if used alone. It is important to use it diluted in a carrier oil. For muscle pain, mix two to three drops in one ounce of carrier oil and rub into affected area. For toothache, use two to three drops on a cotton swab and apply directly to tooth. Take great care not to swallow as all spice is high concentration could cause nausea. Mix well with geranium, ginger, lavender, orange, myrrh, patchouli, and yanglang. My ginger is done, my germ is done. I'm getting ready to refill. Extraction method, steam distillation. Parts used, leaves and fruit of the allspice. That's what is used to make the oil. Safety information, not recommended for use if pregnant. Should not be used neat on skin. Always mix with carrier oil, lotion or cream if using on skin. And the reason why they stress about oils, mixing them with carrier oils is because they do burn, they can burn your skin. So they say all spice have a mixture of nutmeg and cinnamon. I have the natural nutmeg and I have the nutmeg and this is what they call mace. A lot of people buy mace when they're baking or cooking. You see what's wrapped around the nutmeg? That is mace. This is the nutmeg without the mace around it. This smells really good. A little bit goes a long way. And this is what the nutmeg looks like. Did I use it? 
This is what the nutmeg look like when it's out of the shell. I've grated some. This is the back of it. And this is the nutmeg again. So you can see it's in the shell. If I shake it, you can hear it. And this is the nutmeg with the mace. I got all of these spices from Dominica. And this bag of cinnamon stick is almost done. And I have another bag right here of cinnamon back or stick, how you call it. It's the back of the tree you scrape. And as you scrape, it rolls and it forms this, which is cinnamon. This is the real cinnamon. I have the powdered one, but this is the back of the tree. When I was a kid, I used to go look for that so we can make tea. <laughs> this is my little history. And the essential oil that I talk about is called all spice. It is not a mixture of spices. It is just one spice. Again, use your essential oil. Use your essential oil wisely. Mix it with a carrier oil so you don't get burned. Always remember self is first love self plenty take care of self because you only have one and i simply make up is saying to stay fabulous and i'll see you soon bye bye